People can learn something new every day. Good afternoon and welcome to Sounds Good. I'm Todd Hatton, taking you now live to Tracy Ross in Studio B for the WKMS Live Lunch. Thank you, Todd. We're pleased to uh, have back in the studios of WKMS, year of October, uh, one of a very small handful of groups uh, to perform more than once. Welcome back, guys. Hey, thanks for having Thank us. You. I've got to say, you've changed about as much as any group between <laughs> appearances. I believe when you first appeared, you were a trio, mm-hmm. and then at the Battle of the Bands finals back in March, you were a quartet, yep. and now you're a duo, and you've got an acoustic guitar, so what's up with that? Yeah, we've had uh, a lot of changes in the members of the band over the last uh, uh, six months or so, or a year, and um, we're kind of uh, in a we're still doing the full band yeah, stuff. Just this weekend, we're pulling this out. Yeah, yeah, we do we it every once in a while. Played full band like about two nights ago, but uh, just acoustic this weekend. So we we talked before the show started, and you said you actually play at least once a month uh, acoustically, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what yeah, is it that you enjoy about uh, unplugging and uh, stripping down your sound? Well, um, we have a lot of songs that we play uh, acoustic. We have them um, uh, usually two or three on a record um, that are a little folkier, uh, definitely more stripped down. And, and um, so we get to play those songs, which we don't normally play full band. And then also uh, we get to uh, kind of strip down our full band songs and, and play them a little differently. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Felicia and Josh Sullivan, our year of October. Take it away, guys. Thank All you. All right. What was the name of that one? Uh, that one's called Something's Gone Wrong. Is that uh, is that w- from the upcoming record? That one's actually an older one. Um, it's on Golden Days. It's on Golden Days, yeah, a record that we put out la- a couple years ago. Um, yeah, I I wrote that one in the drive through at the bank where I was working <laughs> at. <laughs> I was particularly fed up with people that day. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah that's uh that one's uh that one's on golden days and and we usually do that one full band but uh um it was written acoustic originally so. well what's next uh, this next one we're going to do is called Come and Get It. Um, it's one of our newest songs. It is our newest song. It is our newest song. Oh. <laughs> um, it's going to be on the new album we're putting out early next year. Do most of your songs start as uh, just acoustic guitar and vocals? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Josh and I write them all together, and we usually just write it on that uh, little seagull there. But when you're <laughs> when you're first coming up with them and playing them, do you hear the, the full band plugged-in version in your head? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we think about it. We can hear. We're like, oh, this would be a really cool to have a little breakdown right here in this part and this part. So we hear it with the full band, but we write it all acoustic, just me and him first. Is that last one going to be a screamer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we played that one uh, a few times with the the full band and it's it's pretty pretty it heavy. Fe- it feels real good. <laughs> feels real good with yeah, the full it does band. Feel real good. <laughs> I like it. I like it acoustic too because you can hear all the all the words and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a little bit more of an intimate setting with it, but uh yeah, full band's definitely the intention for that one. <laughs> what are we doing next? Um took a walk. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is another new one. I took a walk and tried to blow over these memories born look inside of me, but I can't stop.
tried to blow all of these memories boy no inside of me but I can't stop You're listening to Year of October on Live Lunch, and we'll be right back after this. Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine is vocal about his Catholic faith. We had a motto in my school, men for others. And and it was there that my faith became something vital, my North Star for orienting my life. Faith, politics, and Catholic voters who make up more than 20% of the electorate later on All Things Considered from NPR News. Join us for All Things Considered this afternoon at 3. We're Murray State's 91.3 WKMS, offering classical music 24 hours a day online and at 88.9 Murray, 92.5 Paducah, and 105.1 Madisonville. Support for programming comes from listeners in Eddy Creek Marina Resort on Lake Barkley near Edible, a full-service marina for a community of boaters. Eddy Creek offers boat slips and dry storage, as well as pontoon, fishing, and bass boat rental for lakeside getaways. Online at eddycreek.com. Good afternoon. It's 1221. We take you now live to Studio B for Tracy Ross and the WKMS Live Lunch. We're back with a year of October, Felicia and Josh Sullivan. Uh, you were one of our four finalists uh, for Battle of the Bands this year. How was that experience? It was awesome. Yeah. We were super excited. I mean, it was an honor to be able to be in the top four of all those bands because, I mean, they're amazing. Every single one of them that got in with us, uh, I mean, they're the top cream of the crop so the two of you have more than one foot in nashville i mean it's your primary place that that you live and play but but you also come back here to western kentucky Uh, from the inside it seems like there's a lot of musical talent here is that pretty much the way you view it oh yeah we tell everyone they're like why do y'all go play western kentucky all the time i'm like y'all don't know what's going on there and i was like there is so there's so many good bands and it's just i feel like it's almost like a renaissance of music back here yeah and it's, it's really great fun. and a lot of a lot of good bands a lot of good people and uh it's a lot of good people doing art and stuff so well awesome. cool yeah let's hear some more all right the golden days yeah that's the title track off our last record Thank you. 
Thank you. It's year of October, special acoustic performance here on Live Lunch, Josh and Felicia Sullivan. Uh, Josh, do you have any guitar players uh, whose style you really uh, respect? Um, well, uh, yeah, lately I've been listening uh, a lot to uh, the Punch Brothers, and I'm, uh, I, I just love, and like the whole, all the musicians in that band are just top notch, and even though I don't, I don't necessarily play like them, I try to have that same kind of rhythmic mm-hmm. uh, feel that they always continue to have. Uh, I listen, I, I love that band, um, uh, a huge Jimmy Page fan, Led Zeppelin's probably my favorite band. Um, I also Rocco really like, uh, yeah, Rocco DeLuca is, uh, is incredible as well, um, and he's... Uh, I like what he does a lot, just because he he makes something he takes something simple and, and kind of layer it, you know, on top mm-hmm. of things. And um, he's also a very rhythmic player. And uh, I also I like Dan Arbach a lot too from the Black Keys. Uh, I think he uh, doesn't get enough credit for being a very very solid uh, you know rhythm player. And um, there's a, yeah there's a lot of a lot of great players out there that I like, but <laughs> just name a few there. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. In Kentucky. Yeah. This one's called Kentucky. We're playing it for you guys. <laughs> Josh is from Lexington, and I'm from basically here, from Graves County. So this is our love song to our home state. It was great. That's a fitting tribute to Kentucky. Yeah, I think so. Yes. I like it. <laughs> That's one we don't we don't get to play that one too much so. in Tennessee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we'll play it down. There. Yeah, yeah. People don't appreciate it. As well, much. when we play it, there's always like one Kentuckian in the crowd, and so they get super pumped about it. <laughs> yes, hey, brother. I'm <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what do you want to do? Winter? Yeah, let's do winter. Cool. This is one from our last record. It's called Winter. This is probably your favorite. On the last record, is uh, it? Yeah, I think it is. It's probably my favorite song we do on the last record. Say, what the 
shed the skin that was our Thank you. That was your battle of the bands. I know. Song. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I've heard that probably more than any of your other songs, and, and you can really tell hearing it acoustically that you're occupying the space here that the guitar and the drums occupied on the actual recording. Mm -hmm. And it's really impressive. We have time <laughs> for uh, one more before the break. Sure. So, uh, uh, this is another new one. It's going to be on the new record. It, it's called Trouble Comes.
Yeah. There you go. We'll be back with one final set from Year of October after this short break. Have texting and Twitter killed the period? Are hashtags and emoji becoming the new form of online punctuation? I'm John Dankosky. Join me on Science Friday for a look at the evolution of digital language. Plus, what are the health risks of going into space? New research on radiation and heart health, the mysterious syndrome affecting astronauts' eyeballs, and more. That's on Science Friday from PRI. Here's Science Friday coming up in 20 minutes here on 91.3 WKMS. We appreciate support from Midtown Market, a locally owned gourmet grocery at 3000 Broadway in Paducah. Summertime is here in Midtown Markets featuring local seasonal produce and fresh cut meats for grilling. There's also a new deli menu with side dishes for backyard barbecues. More about what's cooking at midtownmarket.com. You're listening to WKMS's Live Lunch here on Sounds Good. And if you like what you're hearing, you can watch live at WKMS.org thanks to the support of Murray State University Digital Media Services. We take you now live back again to Studio B and Tracy Ross. Thank you very much, Todd. Uh, We're pleased to have a year of October back in our studios. Josh and Felicia Sullivan doing a great acoustic set for us. When a song comes into your head, do the lyrics come first, then you write the music around it, or does it happen the opposite way, or how does that happen? Uh, It's a little of both, Mm -hmm. um, because I write write the majority of the lyrics. Josh will help me on some of them, but um, sometimes... I'll have this story in my mind, and I'm like, I'll write it down, and then Josh will come up with a guitar part about it. But sometimes he'll have this lick that he's been fiddling with for months and be like, come on, we've got to do something with this. Yeah. <laughs> so. what, what's harder? Is, is it harder to have the riff and have to form the, the lyrics around it or vice versa? Uh, I I think they're equally hard. <laughs> That's a very diplomatic answer. I don't know. It depends on the Josh song. Josh is running um, for the presidency. Yeah. <laughs> This uh, is the year. <laughs> yeah, I think, I I don't know. I think sometimes having the lyrics first, it's harder because then like you're like, I got this great lyric, and and for me, I was like, well, everything I'm playing is crap. So, <laughs> so no, it's it's uh it's it's hard. I think it's harder to come up when I mean, you already have a lyric and you don't and you want to write a. I mean, cause you can come up with something, but you don't want it to sound like. You know, you and you've I don't play before. an instrument, so I come up with weird melodies sometimes that are really hard to write things. On an actual instrument. So you're for. like, here's the sound I hear in my yeah, head. Yeah, this, this actually happened. Yeah, and <laughs> a lot of times it's it's a lot harder for him to do that than for me to be like, just play it. And it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, we have we have a lot of songs too. We'll have like a like a music part, or you know, maybe like a uh, we'll come up with like a theme. You know, like um, like a lot of songs about the Dark Tower, like series of dark by Stephen King. Mm-hmm. So it's like like we were we were really into that. And it was like. You know, it's very simple. That song's very simple lyrically, but it's like, uh, to us at least, it's, it's I think it says a lot, you know, like uh, like Trouble, I don't know. We're probably going to call the new record Trouble Comes, so that's probably going to be the, the title track. But You have a show uh, tonight in Paducah. Yeah, yeah. we're playing at um, Paducah Beer Works with Fate, who was in the WKMS um, Battle of the Bands with us. So okay. yeah. gonna be quickly, fun. you've got to tell the audience how you met Fate because <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, we uh, a book, uh, we were playing in Nashville. A band from out of town had booked this show at this small little bar, and we show up, and there is an open mic going on, and we're like, "What's going on? We're supposed to be playing." And the band, the venue, had like double booked us with an open, open mic, mic. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were like oh y'all can play a few songs in between everybody so we we are as a band played a few songs in the middle of this open mic and fate was playing that night so <laughs> that's how we met it was it was, it was really funny, crazy yeah. but it's been good good since then <laughs> yeah definitely yeah fate's awesome and you're still friends so. oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right josh felicia we have a uh, time for one more set uh, what are you going to kick it off with we're gonna do a, a new one. Uh, it's called uh, "When It Rains," and uh, it's a little bit, a little bit softer. And uh, we'll kick it off here. All right.
Drive. Thank you. Which one? Um, that song was actually one that Josh had a riff working on, mm-hmm. and we just wrote it. We wrote it in about 30 minutes, probably. That one. Yeah, that was a quick one. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a good riff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, let's do uh, let's do Stuck in Your Shadows. Okay. <coughs> This one, this one will be on the new record, and it's, it's definitely more of a rocker. But uh, we'll kind of uh, we'll play it acoustic here. This is the way we wrote it, so it'll be it'll be fun. <laughs>
of October on Live Lunch. Felicia and Josh Sullivan, some guitar and vocals. Uh, I think we have time for two more songs. What do you want to play now? Sure. This one's called End of the Night. It's off our last record as well. It's probably one of our sweeter songs. I don't write happy songs. (laughs) It just doesn't happen. So this (laughs) this one's the nicest song we have. Thank you. That was a very sweet song. <laughs> so you guys are playing uh, tonight at Paducah Beer Works? Yeah, Paducah Beer Works. At what time? Uh, nine, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, going on around nine. So Paducah Beer Works at nine, Us and Fate. It's going to be a good time. And new album early next year? New album early yep. next year. We're recording it right now. So well, super excited about it. You have been wonderful. Thank you so much for playing for us. What will you take us out on? Thank you. Um, this one's called uh, Midnight Moon. 
and this is actually on our uh so we're keeping the night theme here this is the the last song on our first record we put out uh, in 2012 year of october Listening to Year of October, direct from Studio B on the WKMS Live Lunch. Our thanks to Murray State Digital Services for providing a live streaming of the show, and our thanks to you for tuning in today. This is WKMS 91.3 FM, HD1 and 2 Murray, WKMD 90.9 FM, HD1 and 2 Madisonville, and WKMT 89.5 FM Fulton. We are part of the educational mission of Murray State University. It's 1 o'clock. Science Friday is next. <laughs>